locked in. What? You're what? locked in. Okay, this is our clue. What is it? You want a clue? Yes. Come on in, girls. Okay. Shut the door behind you. Okay. Try to get out of your room right now. Okay. Why did you guys? Why is it locked? What? You're what? locked in. We have filmed so many escape room videos for our Tic Tac Toy channel that I've gotten pretty good at coming up with all sorts of fun and interesting clues for the kids to work through and solve to get to some end goal. So I thought it would be really fun if we did one in real life. And so that's what we're doing today. Dear Addie and Maya, you, you two have become experts at solving escape room challenges in our Tic Tac Toy videos. But, but how will we... How will you fare in a real one? We're about to find out. Your bedroom doors are now locked. You'll have to solve a series of clues to unlock the doors. Once you've escaped your bedrooms, you'll find a fun surprise waiting just outside the door. You'll be, a, you'll be allowed to ask for help only once. Good luck, Addie and Maya. This is a real life escape room challenge, girls. Can you guys handle it? Yeah! All right. You're on your own. So I had Jason turn the door handle around on Maya's room so that we could lock it from the outside. So the girls are gonna be trapped inside Maya's room until they can figure out how to escape. As the girls work through the clues, I'm gonna tell you how I did it so that way you parents watching, if you wanna plan a fun escape room for your kids, you kind of can get inside my mind and see how it works. Wait, there's numbers in these. Mm, you see some balloons. Pop these pop balloons aren't usually here, are they? Do we have to pop them with something? Did you know something else in your room that's not usually here? Oh, there's, oh. A lock on a backpack, uh-huh. And there's like a safe. There's a safe, yeah, there's some interesting things in here. Okay. One step at a time, and remember, I can only tell them, I can only help them one time. So let's see if they figure this escape room challenge out. So I noticed on this letter, there's some bold letters. So I think if we take them, put them on a different piece of paper, paper and unscramble them, it can lead to a clue. Maybe yeah. so. so. All right, let's work on it. Paper. Let's get to work. Yes. <gasps> My first clue was pretty simple. It was a letter explaining that they were in an escape room challenge, but if Addie and Maya are really careful, they'll notice that certain letters are in bold print. And if they put these bold printed letters together, it will spell another message for them. Another idea is to have certain letters capitalized or certain letters even highlighted for younger kids so that they really stand out. D D E A N. Wait a minute. Believe and dream. dream. My hands! Hand. Your picture! There has to be something behind it. Believe that. and dream. Interesting. Okay. They figured out that clue pretty easily. I like to use some elements in the escape room that are already in their room. Maya already had two big pictures on her wall that said believe and dream. So that was a perfect thing for them to find those words and then figure out that it referred to the photos or the pictures that we already had hanging on her bedroom wall. Right here. Yes. Shells. Over there. There's, There's shells. shells. What is this? Wait, is this like a, a black light? light? A flashlight? Wait. I think it's a black light. Yes, a black light. It said believe and dream. Maybe there's something behind believe telling us where to shine the black light. <gasps> a picture. Carpet. Carpet. Behind each of the pictures on the wall, I had two zoomed in close up photographs that I took of two objects in Maya's room. One was of the seashells in her jar, and the other was a close up of the pattern on her rainbow rugs inside her bedroom. It's always fun to have a clue that requires two pieces to it. So if they only found one of the clues, they couldn't solve it. You needed both items to be able to figure out what the next step in the escape room challenge was. Wait, there's a picture under this one. Red, blue, yellow, green. Red, blue, yellow, green. <gasps> Wait, they have numbers and this has a lock. <gasps> we have to try putting it in. Wait a minute. But should we pop the balloons? Yeah. Now those balloons obviously aren't usually there, so I think they put that together pretty quickly. That that clue had to do with those colorful balloons. Hi. 
feels like to have a clue where you have to pay close attention to the order of something. And this was meant to be one of those clues. I wrote the colors in a specific order and I had the balloons hanging in a specific order so that if they pop them in that correct order, then each of those numbers placed in that order would unlock the lock. We got to these numbers by popping the balloons. So now we're trying to unscramble them because we think the code, the code lock on this backpack has these numbers are in the code, so we're gonna try and unscramble oh, them. You did? Now, I don't think Addie and Maya really realized that, and I don't think they were paying attention to the order at all. Somehow, they just got lucky and happened to put the numbers in the correct order to open that combination lock. 16, 12, 1, 25, 4, 15, 8. The phone! Let's oh, go try calling something and see if it will work. What if under... No? no. I'll try calling something. Okay. 16. No, it's nothing. There's a clock too. But we're trying to call something and see if it'll give us a clue. So you got these numbers, mm -hmm. but you're not sure what they mean. So you're thinking maybe it's connected to the phone? Maybe. Maybe so. The phone doesn't seem to be working. I thought the girls would be able to pick up on this pretty quickly because we've actually done some escape room games at home for fun with that same type of clue, but they didn't. They were all over the place with this clue. Remember, you have one clue that you can use. I can help them one time, so if you want to use it now, you might want to think about it. I think we're gonna use it for something trickier because yeah. we don't know what's in our, in the future of this escape room, so we're wondering what to use it for. So we're gonna save. Ready? It. Okay. Nope. Oh, oh, all my jewelry. I I'm pretty sure I have six. So I haven't gotten into counting how many headbands Maya has. So I'm gonna go count how many headbands she has. I think they were trying to associate the numbers with the number of things that they had in the room. So for example, they were really hung up on the first number being 16 and trying to figure out what they had 16 of in the room. So they were all over the place with this one and they eventually needed my help. Okay, this is our clue. What is it? You want a clue? Yes. We have solved clues like this before. Each of the numbers corresponds with the letter of the it's alphabet. The oh my gosh, yes. Okay, 16th letter of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. P. I think it's Plato. Yeah, because that's the fourth P. letter of the alphabet. It must be Plato. M, N, O. It was H. Plato. The clue might be buried in the Plato because the letter is spelled Plato. So I'm gonna get I don't think there's anything in here because it's brand new. I always like to have some clue where they have to dig into something, whether it's like a ball pit or a jar of slime, or in this case, Play-Doh. It's just fun for kids to be able to dig in and get physical with something. There's and there was I feel something. I feel something. What is it? Something's in here. So it could be a key to open the safe thing. It's a key. It's literally a key. We found keys. Let's go unlock it. This has never ever been in my room before. So this has to do with the escape room. So hopefully it unlocks it. I'm something that is often round, but I'm not a pizza base. I have hands, but I don't have fingers. It have numbers on my face. It's also fun to have a riddle for one of your clues. And I always find that the riddle clues are often the most difficult for my kids to solve because you really have to think. Now, I'm not very good at coming up with riddles myself, so I'll often have an object in mind, and then maybe I'll go online and just search for riddles where the answer is clock. Or other times I'll just search for random riddles and see if I can find one that happens to have an answer that works for something I have around home. Maybe a dollar bill or something. Oh, do you have any dollar bills in your room? Hmm. The $10 bill has Alexander Hamilton's face on it, and it also has numbers on it. But it doesn't really have any hands. It was interesting to see the girls' thought process as they worked through and tried to solve this riddle. They came up with some good ideas, like the dollar bill having a face on it and having numbers on it. But the key was trying to think of what meant 
all parts of the riddle. <gasps> this clock is round. It has, this is it. <gasps> There's something on the back. <gasps> I was pretty proud of Maya for figuring that one out. I recognize it. It has something to do with that. I've been to a birthday party where we had to solve a ton of clues to solve a mystery, and this was one of the clues, so I know how to do it, and I can get us one step closer to getting out of this escape room. This is P. I know it's P because it has a dot in this corner, and up here, it also has a dot. But this one has no dot, so if you come down here, it has the, it has the same kind of angle, but it has no dots, so this one's I. I always like to have some type of clue which requires some type of decoding, and if you go on Pinterest, there are tons of different decoders and ciphers you can use. The pig pin one is the one that I use today, but there's also Morse code and so many more. S. It must be pillowcase. E. Pillowcase. Pillowcase. I feel something. There's a paper in here. In my last clue, the girls had to work through a maze that had a bunch of random letters on it. Once they solved the maze, they could trace their path to spell out the last clue. So I think I know how to do this. So I think you do the maze and whatever letters you go through, mm -hmm. I think those are letters you have to unscramble. You're right. We actually did this in one of our escape room videos on Tic Tac Toys, so I thought it'd catch on pretty quickly to what needed to be done here. Another fun idea to do a similar type of clue is to have like a crossword puzzle where the kids have to solve a crossword puzzle, but then certain letters in the puzzle will be highlighted, and if they can put those letters together and then scramble them, maybe they would lead to the next step in the clues. Cupcake. Is in the cupcake. Wait a minute, does that mean we finished? Let's try. We did it. Now we need a lock pick. These keys are what we use to open doors if they accidentally get locked. All right, let's do it. I got it! Yes, yes we're free! Yes, we're free. What's the prize, though? Harry Potter? What is yes. it? Yes. Harry Potter Magical Capsules? Magical Capsules? And another important aspect to a really fun escape room challenge is to have a prize at the end. It can be something simple like a baked good or a little treat, maybe it could be an activity. Just be creative and have fun with it. Let's see what these are. You found the prize, let's go downstairs and open them and check out these new toys. These are new Harry Potter magical capsules. And Annie's been really into Harry Potter lately and I was so excited to feature these as the surprise for their escape room challenge. Apparently there's seven surprises in each one and there's like heat reveal and I guess like water reveal and all sorts of crazy ways to reveal everything inside. So I found this unbox one. So wait, so this opened up. Yeah, and I found this in it. And that's the and little hot the back thing. there's a fingerprint on. Oh, I have to put my finger on it. Not that I need. Oh, probably so. Oh, it's, it's a dress. It looks like it. This little note thing has a water droplet on the back. So okay. let's put it in the water. In hey, the I water? A, I got a green dress. It's not a dress because I think I got Gryffindor because it's red and it's Anna got green, so I think it's Slytherin. So maybe it's a clue as to like the character inside yeah, it, maybe? I think maybe? it's a Draco or something. I don't know. <gasps> oh, Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus, is that like a spell, I bet? I think. Sectumus Simpra. So I'm guessing those must be like spells from the movie. I don't remember what those ones were specifically, but they have to be spells from Harry Potter. Now we open the first two, and there's three, we're on to the third one now. It's really big, so I'm guessing it may be like a character. Oh, let's see, let's see. Whoa, what is this? There's a suitcase or something, let's see. Oh! What is it, Hogwarts trunk? It looks like I got to like reveal them. Here's the... Hogwarts character, I think. Yeah, I think this is the character. Oh, there's more inside. This is probably your character that you got. Who did you get, Annie? I got Snape. You did, you I got, got Snape. Snape. Look, look at him there's in the picture. Little... So I think there are 10 different characters you can collect. So Annie got Snape, let's see who Maya got. Harry Potter. You got Harry Potter? Oh, cool. So there's lots of little packages inside. Oh, Hedwig. You got Hedwig? Hedwig looks a little grumpy. Evil owl. What's your accessory? A potion. Ooh, a potion. Yes. I, I might got a teeny tiny little note that's that probably says Mr. It's probably a card that Hedwig delivered to Harry Potter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's something else in here. 
I think it's a wand. It's the wand. You think I so? Here. It seems like a snake. It's a snake. Is it? Oh, wait, no, it's not a snake. Oh, yeah, it's a snake. Oh, it is a snake. Ooh, it's for the Slytherins. You got his wand, how neat. And what else did you get, Addy? Book, a potion oh, book. Oh, a potions book. So you can collect Harry, Ron, Hermione, Ginny, Luna. Yeah, there's a lot of people you can Draco, collect, Draco, huh? Cho, Snape, and Cedric. I like the containers they come in, too. They're very pretty. So who's everybody hoping they get this time? Hermione. 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 I'm actually giving me Hermione. I just got Gryffindor. Oh, you got a Gryffindor? So she got someone from Gryffindor oh, again. I got so another Slytherin. Be, you got another Slytherin here. You want mine with Flop? Yes. All right, let's see. Here's your. I got Ginny. I got Ginny. You got Ginny, and I got Ginny's brother, uh, Ron. I got Draco. You got another like not so super nice character. Mm -mm. Well, these are fun, girls. I'm glad we got to open these, and I'm glad you girls escaped because if they didn't escape, we wouldn't have been able to do this. Thank you guys so much for watching. XOXO.